Hewing Charge listeners, hello again. Today I would like to bring to light on two very interesting articles written by Lucia Laura and Nikita Lobo earlier this month, talking about China's commerce and general e-commerce market, which is more and more on the rise these days globally, not just in developed and western countries, but now, even in underdeveloped areas, you can find that commerce is moving more to online platforms and operations. That would be all, folks. Don't be shy to write and suggest topics you would like to get some information on. Stay safe wherever you might be, and we are getting ready for the new school season. Good luck all you young there, and we hope for a brighter future with you, Ent. Until the next time, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more news. Live Stream Commerce in China Taobao leads, but its dominance fades. Article by Lucia Lara with our personal touch. So, let us get into the rabbit hole on this one. Livestream commerce emerges as a scorching trend within the realm of e-commerce, originating from the dynamic landscapes of China. With the potential for expansion beyond its birthplace, this innovative approach to retail is making its mark on a global scale. Notably, the vibrant and competitive Chinese market for livestream commerce has witnessed a surge of contenders challenging the dominance historically held by Taobao. The inception of livestream commerce dates back to 2016 in China, introducing an avant-garde fusion of live video streaming and online shopping. This novel amalgamation swiftly gained traction, owing to the widespread integration of smartphones and the omnipresence of digital payment methods. Evidently, this pioneering shopping experience captivated the hearts of countless Chinese consumers. The trajectory of livestream commerce, from its nascent stages to the contemporary landscape, showcases a remarkable evolution. This evolution is propelled by the ascent of influencers, innovative enhancements, and a remarkable upswing in popularity, especially during the exigencies of the pandemic. In 2020, the shoppable live stream market in China accomplished a monumental feat by surpassing a trillion yuan, fundamentally revolutionizing shopping dynamics and the rapport between consumers and brands. As this sector advances into an era of pervasive acceptance in China, the panorama of service providers diversifies in kind. Alibaba's venerable e-commerce platform, Taobao coupled with its flagship live streaming application Dianteo, formerly recognized as Taobao Leave, undeniably retains supremacy and popularity among Chinese patrons of live commerce, as substantiated by data encompassing October 2020. An impressive utilization rate of 74% underscores their position at the vanguard, following closely in rank. Doyin commands a usage rate of 51%, claiming the second position. Kingduo Duo and JD.com boasts robust double-digit usage rates, whereas WeChat Video Channel and Kuaishu each command a more modest share of 8%. Examining the metric of gross merchandise volume, the landscape takes an intriguing turn. Recent data sourced from 100 deck com forward intelligence, Kian's Han and Sinton reveals that Kuaishu and Dawin have eclipsed the long-standing dominion of Taobao and Diantayo in this regard. While Taobao swiftly emerged as the front-runner in the livestream commerce arena upon its inception, spearheading over 50% of GMV and fee until 2020, subsequent years have witnessed the ascendancy of Kuaishu and Duiha. In 2022, these newcomers have contributed to a higher share of GMV compared to the erstwhile leader, Taobao Diantayo. Beyond the shores of China, the burgeoning and diversified market for livestream commerce beckons. The ascent of platforms like Kuaishu and Douyin underscores the diversification and escalating competition within this sector. The Chinese livestream commerce phenomenon has not only redefined brand consumer interactions within the nation, but also holds the potential to reshape the e-commerce landscape across international borders. This is evinced by the burgeoning cross-border activities in China's livestream commerce domain, where non-Chinese e-commerce giants like the Otto Group have developed their own livestream shopping features. However, it's noteworthy that the narrative is nuanced, with platforms such as TikTok and YouTube still in the process of fine-tuning their live shopping functionalities, while Instagram and Facebook have chosen to discontinue their forays into live shopping. In summation, Livestream commerce stands as a testament to the dynamism of modern retail paradigms. Emerging from China, it has burgeoned into a force that holds the potential to transcend geographic confines, reshape consumer brand dynamics, and usher in a new era of interactive and immersive shopping experiences. So, how is all this related to the article by Nikita Lobo and his take on e-commerce ratings and the influence of merchandise? Rating drive traffic. Four stars attract most visitors to e-commerce sites rather than below four stars. 
We know of the scandal several years ago when Chinese online sellers swarmed the websites and their own products with high star ratings and fake profiles, so it got caught and that has now also influenced extra mistrust to the Chinese sellers and products. Robust website traffic stands as the cornerstone of triumphant online enterprises. The influx of visitors to the website usher us in augmented prospects for conversions, sales, and overarching expansion. Discover the intricate interplay between ratings and website traffic, along with the threshold for the most captivating average rating, and how many of them are real, how many fake, we cannot know this for certain, but there is a lot to look into this matter. In the contemporary digital epoch, the sway of customer appraisals has burgeoned into an indomitable determinant of consumer acquisition, both in physical and virtual realms. Recent research from Bright Local illuminates that a staggering 76% of individuals routinely solicit online evaluations whilst perusing enterprises. Additionally, nearly half of the consumers assert that these reviews are on par with the viewpoints of confidants. This predilection isn't confined to textual reviews. It extends to the average star rating, a fact that exerts formidable allure on e-commerce portals. A fresh scrutiny by Power Reviews scrutinizing approximately 8.8 .8 million product display pages and encompassing a prodigious 27.7 billion page visits lays bare the prodigious sway of average star ratings on the footfall of global e-commerce platforms. The findings unfurl as follows. The upswing in website traffic scales in tandem with the ascension of average star ratings. This symbiotic relationship is most conspicuously manifested in the 4 to 4.74 rating range, which ushers in a momentous surge. Remarkably, within the stratum of 4.5 to 4.74 stars, the upsurge in website traffic burgeons to an astounding 11,771%. This statistical revelation underscores an unequivocal correlation between lofty star ratings and peaked consumer curiosity. An intriguing paradox emerges with star ratings that hover at the pinnacle of the scale. Counterintuitively, ratings exceeding 4.74 stars do not precipitate an intensification of website traffic. Rather, they engender a decline. The statistical analysis unveils that websites adorned with a flawless five-star rating witness a descent in their traffic. Intriguingly, the augmented traffic increment for online emporia endowed with a pristine five-star rating amounting to 6,507 percent falls only halfway short of the surge experienced, falls only halfway short of the surge experienced by establishments sporting an average rating of 4.74 stars. This phenomenon could be ascribed to the apprehensions latent in consumers, who tend to regard a shop flaunting an unblemished rating with a modicum of skepticism. Moreover, an immaculate five-star rating frequently intimates a nascent enterprise and is still in the embryonic stages of accumulating reviews. As these evaluations amass, the sustenance of a flawless five-star average assumes an increasingly Herculean task. Consequently, it transpires that consumers are inclined to vest their trust in a heftier assemblage of reviews tethered to a more pragmatic mean. By assimilating the nuanced dynamics that underlie star ratings and their resonance within consumer comportment, retailers are primed to elevate their virtual prominence, orchestrate a surge in website traffic, and instill a bedrock of confidence within prospective purchasers, and as for the star, ratings and reviews use common sense. Look fist for low star revies and reasons why the customer was unhappy, how long ago the review has been done. Not necessarily all is still bad as several customer had, products could have improved since then, so best as we can say is to use common sense and reason, don't just accept short promotions by TikTokers or other social medias, but before committing on the products do diligent research if you want. To save yourself from the hassle on getting refund or replacements, be smart as we can be all today. Don't believe just your eyes, but trust your brains more. Logic is a very good tool to learn.